That's Italian. No pump or auto. It's nickel plated, snub nose. Otherwise, it's the same as a service revolver. It's a brand new. We just got the in. That's trying to stop anything that moves. Just touch the trigger, the beam comes on, and you put the red dot where you want the bomb to go. You can't miss. 38. The fine gun. Remember that one time LEGO took their molds too far and, come on guys, admit, that revolver mold from Lone Ranger's theme? Pretty questionable. I mean, it's clearly on par with brick arms. It's genuinely perfect. I think LEGO's decision to retire the piece after its two color run and limited theme was the right choice. I think it was too accurate. Now, the Indie Lines return this year brought a new mold to the classic and iconic revol- Okay, no, 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 not that one the iconic LEGO revolver. Seeing this piece get its new flush handle with a further recessed frame in the rear is kind of cool. What I'm not a fan of, and which I'm really unsure of why it's here, is the new giant hole at the bottom of the revolver. It's kind of random, but I'd love to see if a tiara fits in there. Somebody in the comments section said, LEGO designers here are gonna find a way to put it into botanical garden sets, so I love that idea. I think they're so sneaky and they do weird stuff, so I'd love to see them do something with that. Regardless, hey, maybe Pinocchio's nose, I, I don't know. This of course opens the discussion of custom weapons and which in my opinion brick arms is still the premier leader of custom weapons especially for star wars or any real life weaponry i myself have a huge collection of brick arms and have collected some over the time i actually live in the chicago land area where it's very easy and accessible to go to stores where they sell all these lego stores in schomburg or Mecca as we call it there are of course tons of other brands that are popping up and introducing more weapons to the lego star wars fan community and other communities but i personally have always been a fan of brick arms and it's very easy to navigate do you think they were right to stick indie with a new revolver or just stick with the classic one with kind of a revamp. I don't know. That's it.